Hello, this is a quick video just to show you uh, Anno 1800 running on an M1 MacBook Air. It's got my machine's got 16 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, it's running the latest beta version of Mac OS. Um, and I'm running Windows 11 through Parallels. Uh, Parallels 17, I think it is. It is the ARM version of Windows, so it's a um, insider version. And I'm just running on a trial just to show the performance of the game. So originally I wanted to get this game running just to see how it would perform. Um, I do play the game on my gaming PC, um, which obviously runs it completely uh, well. Uh, this was some Reddit discussions people were looking at for... Um, saying they got the game to run and it was running well. Um, I just don't believe how that is the case. As you will see here. So yeah, Windows 11, Pro Insider Preview. Um, originally they couldn't get the game to run. Um, what you do is once you've installed the ARM version off of the Windows uh, website, um, you will need to do an update. Uh, some of the other things you need to do as well is, um, as on mine, I think, can I do it here? I can't show you here, but it does say in the settings. Um, basically, I'm running this on six cores. Um, out of the eight that are available, I need to reserve two just to run Mac OS. Um, I'm allocating 12 gigabytes of RAM to Windows as well, leaving the additional four to run um, Mac OS again. You have to run it in isolation mode, um, otherwise you don't get any saved games. It seems to probably use some shared folders with Mac OS um, that it can't get access to, so it wouldn't allow me to save anything um, or even load any of my previous saves, wouldn't even sync my previous saves unless I run it in isolation mode um, within Parallels in the settings as well, so you'd need to make sure you run that. But um, I've done a number of different tests on the game. It does take a little while to load up. Um, initially, when you're playing the game, if you start off in a completely fresh world, um, which is what I did, obviously, when I couldn't get the save games to work. Um, I suppose it's, it doesn't run too bad. You can probably get about 20 to 30 frames a second on the resolution that I'll show you in a second, and the settings all on as low as possible, um, and the Fidelity FX set to performance as well. So trying to get as best possible frames uh, out of it. So yeah, it can run around 30 frames a second, um, just about on a new world. But as you'll see from now, I've got my save games working. Once you get into the la later parts of the game, um, I would say it's unplayable. Maybe some people would like to persist a little bit. Um, obviously, it's never going to be a touch on a Windows machine because it's emulating Windows and... Uh, is emulating playing the game so from that perspective I think it's doing a good job but um, yeah just wanted this video out there so people could see uh, especially in the reddit community uh, how it runs frames per second uh, up in the left there I've tried a number of other games, um, just while I've got the Trial of Parallels uh, running New World. Uh, it doesn't run. It comes up with a error message saying it doesn't support the ARM architecture. Um, stuff like company errors as well, which doesn't run. It just uh, click play and it just goes back to the play button in Steam. But Steam itself does run. Um, I'm sure there'll be more Steam games that do work with uh, the introduction of their Steam Deck.
but whether that relates over to the ARM version of Windows, uh, we'll see. I suppose what you could do is maybe install Ubuntu or another um, Linux based system and then run Steam through those. Something maybe to test in the future. So this is a later game world um, that I've been running on my Windows PC um, just so you can see how it performs when there's a lot on the screen. Here we go. So this is, uh, as you can see, pretty hefty. Um, a lot going on. And if I keep it still, you can see it's chugging at seven to eight frames a second. I'll show you the resolution I'm running that at. So 1680 by 1050, we could lower that down even further just to try and get a little bit more performance out of it. As I said, Fidelity FX super resolution put at performance. So that makes it so it has to be anti-aliasing at times four. Could look to lower this down to the absolute minimum. It does do a bit of a weird crop on the screen. 1024 by 768. Even then, that's gained one frame a second. Um, it might be something to do with the uh, emulation that's going on. Um, it's having to do a lot in the background. If you run it at the native resolution of the screen. Still, let's have a look, can't even move. Still says it's running at seven to eight frames a second. So it's probably something to do with the CPU. Um, I suppose somebody might, yeah, even then it's running at six there, ridiculous. Sixteen eighty by ten fifty is what I would call a sweet spot for this game. Um, it's probably the uh, Super FX resolution that's keeping the frame rate um, lower. So we're getting about fourteen here. So it's not impossible, but I wouldn't want to play it like this. Anyway, hope this video helps you. Uh, any questions, leave them in the comments. Cheers.